Radio website to uh, get tickets. They're on sale for $8.10. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so fluoride. Some of you, and many of you have emailed me and said, you know, you got to talk about this, and it's been going on for years, but it has to do about the truth about fluoride. And uh, one of the things that the CDC, which is the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, uh, issued a warning last week, uh, a report, I should say, that admits two in five children in America show signs of fluoride poisoning, which is streaking, spotting, or pitting of teeth due to dental uh, fluoridation. And the agency concluded that fluoride levels need to be lowered in municipal water supplies, reducing fluoride to 0.7 milligrams per liter. Uh, the previous recommended upper high was, uh, limit was 1.2. And this ends over five decades of the U.S. government recommending up to 1.2 milligrams of fluoride in every liter of water. But even the new lower levels are still more than enough to cause serious harm to children. And when mothers make infant formula using uh, fluoridated tap water, they, I mean, you don't mean to, but again, not doing good things for kids. And remember, at one time, uh, we have all this fluoride toothpaste. We have, uh, you know, at one time they used to coat Dennis used to coat uh, people's teeth with fluoride. But uh, again, you know, when you hear the, the term fluoride, you know, there's really no such substance listed in, uh, they talk about the periodic chart of elements. Uh, but the main thing, which you should know about fluoride, is that sodium fluoride, uh, uh, again, this substance was quite expensive for the world's premier chemi chemical companies to dispose of. Uh, back, you know, 20s, 30s, 40s. But in the 50s and 60s, what happened is Alcoa and the entire aluminum in industry, with a vast overabundance of the toxic waste, okay, somehow sold the FDA and our government on the insane but highly profitable idea of buying this poison, are you ready, at a 20,000% markup and then injecting it into our water supply as well as into the nation's toothpaste, dental rinse. That's right, folks. Did you hear that? 20,000% markup. Now, consider also that when sodium fluoride is injected into our drinking water, its level is approximately one part per million. But since we only drink one half of 1% of the total water supply, this hazardous chemical literally goes down the drain and voila! The chemical industry has not only a free hazard waste disposal system, but we've also paid for them. Now, this is not new news, uh, new news, you like that, but independent scientific evidence over the past 50 plus years has shown that sodium fluoride does affect our lifespan. It looks at cancers, mental disturbances. Uh, it looks at, you know, our brain developing. I mean, there's increasing evidence that aluminum in the brain is, uh, could be a causation factor in Alzheimer's disease. So, again, thinking about all of this fluoride, uh, I mean, uh, you know, there's been scientists who have attempted to blow the whistle on sodium fluoride's mega bucks propaganda campaign, have, you know, saying, please, you know, this thing has got to be taken out of the water. Uh, they're starting a little bit at least to lower it. But I think the thing that, um, again, is so alarming... And, and there's some very good articles about it. There's one, The Truth About Fluoride, fluoride What Every Mother Should Know. Uh, and uh, it goes into the history of fluoride and what it really is and what has been done with it and how, you know, we've been led to believe it's something that's necessary for our teeth. It is not. Again, it is not. As I said, this is uh, actually a waste product that has been put in our water. There's so much behind it. Um, and I, and I will continue to talk a little bit about, about it. But again, we have to, to be aware of this and see what we can do to get it out of our water completely. It's a start to get it lowered, but it does nothing. Got that? Yes, I know. I'll have some links in, on uh, Twitter and also on the KGO radio. I'll put up some links uh, to articles that you can take a look at yourself. I'm Jody Gregan. You're listening to KGO. Beta Breakers, one of San Francisco's greatest...